Hi, uh, this video is about direct online starter. So, direct online starter is also known as a dual starter and widely used to start electric motors. Uh, there are many types of uh, starter, but the simplest one is DOL. It is composed of electrical circuit and uh, electromechanical parts to start and stop the electric motor. Uh, it DOL starter it connect directly to the power supply so motor get the full voltage um, and uh, initially it can draw high current uh, 3 to 8 times more than the normal current um, this type of starter is only suitable for the small motors basically below 5 HP um, motor above 5 HP it is better to use the star delta starter or some electronic starters uh, this starter is often sometimes used to start for the water pumps, compressor, uh, compressor fan and conveyor belts. And the control circuit um, depends on the coil. Um, it can run on 220 volt or 110 volt or 24 volt. In this case you need to add the transformer to step down the uh, higher voltage. This shows the power and control circuit of the dual starter. So basically, um, it got the three phase power and the circuit breaker or fuse it can be used for the protection in case of motor failure or source circuit. And then there is a overload protection here, and uh, then it directly um, these are the contacts of the contactor. And as said earlier, um, directly all three phase voltage apply to the motor directly. In the control circuit you can see here um, when the operator uh, or some person he press the start button uh, circuit close and contactor um, activated and at that time it co it close all these three contact here uh, once uh, operator or person remove the start button uh, the current continuously flow through this normally open contact of the contactor but then once it, it activated this contact get close and the now circuit will flow from this side here uh, when operator press the stop button then circuit can break or in case of overload uh, something goes wrong with the motor or mechanical load is is higher or any issue with the motor in that case uh, it draws the more current and overload protection activated and at that time it open this contact and uh, basically motor stop to working or motor stop so this is the control circuit of the DOL starter is pretty straightforward. Um, these are the uh, it shows the real wiring here. So uh, this uh, circuit breaker people can use the fuse or this um, circuit breaker here. Okay, so in this case uh, the the contactor coil is 220 volt. So basically uh, it get the the power here it goes to the stop button and then it go to the start button and it goes to this uh, overload protection here this is nc contact i assume this is nc contact normally close contact so it goes here it it goes on this way and then uh, goes to contactor coil here and neutral comes directly to the contactor coil so initially um, so when the uh, when the person press the the st uh, start button here it close the complete circuit here uh, through this one and once the contactor activated and at that time uh, uh, motor start motor start here and uh, once and this is the hold on contact uh, this is a normally open contact so when uh, when the circuit activated and the current flow from the stop button goes here now is 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 close contact so it come back here and and continue th through this path and um, motor keep running um, motor stop working when some person uh, press the stop button or something goes wrong with the motor or some short circuit or or this uh, when this overload uh, protection when that activated it break the circuit here between these two contact and at that time it break the control circuit and contactor deactivated Hopefully this will help the DUL starter to understand. Um, okay, bye.